okay next um, we are going to learn how to refine the grids that we have created just now with inaccuracy and we're going to try to use the temporary dimensions technique in order for us to help us um, in a sense refine the grids position accurately now so please open up this temporary dimensions.rpt file So what I have here is a set of grids previously drawn but with no accuracy so I really did not care too much about uh, the placements of the grid uh, in accuracy so right now we're going to try to get them all as accurately as possible all right so if you notice right now each time we click on one of the grids okay any of the grid elements you will find that there are these elements of what we call the temporary dimensions and we can actually use these to our advantage to realign use this to position the objects accurately in relationship to other items okay for example here within the nodes we are going to change this area here okay in the reference and we are going to change this to say 200 so you see you notice that when I click on this grid here there will be a, there will be two temporary dimensions being created okay or appearing here so I will just click on here and key in 200 in this case and click and press enter so what would happen is it will take reference from the center of this wall to the distance over here and accurately placing it 200 mm away and then next okay next at this portion here you notice that when you click on the grid on the second grid itself grid line B you will find that now the reading is also taken from the center of the wall now we do not want this um, we want it to be taken against the internal face of the wall here so in this case what we can do is we can now click on the node of the dimension to move the witness line to the inner face of the wall but you find that as I'm dragging it I have nothing to snap onto or it does not select or highlight so again while clicking on it and dragging and holding on to the left click button I can click on the tap key and once I tap it one time you will find that now the inner face of the wall becomes highlighted and I will then be able to shift the witness line to the inner face of the wall okay again let me repeat it one more time all right let me try again and show you once you click on this with um, this dimension node hold it there with the left click and move it to the in inner side of the wall and then press the tap key one time and then after that release the left click you will find that it now okay the dimension now the node is now on the inner face of the wall so in this case we are going to click 50 and you will now notice that it is aligned 50 from the inner face of the wall 50 mm okay so I'm going to try to align this again one more time to 200 and subsequently we're going to look at this so again 50 for all these areas down here so this is what I will do I'll click on this now and drag and tap so that I can key in 50 and on this one same thing I will key in and tap and I will key in 50 
on this grid line E I will again click and tap and key in 50 okay and next on grid line D however okay, I will select this and make sure I make use of the temporary dimension by shifting it to refer to grid line C and then keying it and key in 9500 and uh, here okay so again um, this is what we call the sketch and modify method and using this technique will allow us to get a fair or high degree of accuracy in this case uh, let me just fix up this one the last one with line 1 and shifting tapping and keying 50 in this case All right. by doing this it will allow us to gain um, to get this really really accurate